Hi, my name is Steve Pollack. I'm a wine buyer for the uh, Chairman Selection Program. One of the wines we'll be tasting at the Rittenhouse Row Festival on May 19th is from Australia. It's Henry's Drive Dead Letter Shiraz. Now, Shiraz gives you all the fruit and all the structure of Cabernet, but gives you a lot more nuances of blackberry, eucalyptus, mint. This works great with, with lamb or any kind of beef recipes. Another wine we'll be tasting uh, at the festival is from Napa Valley. The wine's called Perfect Union. As you can see, it's geared towards Memorial Day, Labor Day, the election year. Uh, it's a wine made by Whitehall Lane and made exclusive for Pennsylvania. It's a Cabernet, and if you've ever had Whitehall Lane, it's got all the stuffing of a cult Cabernet. Black cherry currant, cinnamon, nutmeg, velvety, velvety tannins. This will work great for barbecues, but I would more consider this as a serious, serious wine drinker's wine. This is not for the novice. This is a very, very good Cabernet. Another wine we'll be tasting is a Pinot Noir. We're all pretty familiar with Pinot Noir. This is from Monterey, so you're talking cool climate Pinot Noir. So you've got to like kind of plum, cherry, nice soft silky tannins. If you like Pinot Noir, Foghead is where you got to be. Very good. All of these wines are available that day to purchase on an on-site store that will be at the Rittenhouse Row event. These wines will only be available that day because we're launching them exclusively to the consumers that day in Philadelphia. So it's real exciting to get there and have an opportunity to be the first, one, the, the first consumer to actually taste and the opportunity to purchase before anybody in Pennsylvania at this event. These are three reds of five wines I'm going to launch at the festival. The other two are whites. We go to South Africa for a wine called Percheron. Uh, it's a Chenin Blanc Viognier, tremendous blend of two grapes that are totally apart. You've got the citrus, lemony, acidic Chenin Blanc going against the floral, tangerine, orange blossom of Viognier. Also, we're going to go to Italy and we're going to taste the Moscato di Asti. Asti's the region in Piedmont, where actually Moscato is what Moscato is supposed to be. Today, Moscato is very popular. Everybody's doing Moscato because of its fruit, its sweetness, its good acid. Uh, but Moscato from Asti, if you've never had it, join me that Saturday on the 19th and you'll have an opportunity to taste a stunning Moscato di Asti from a company called Enrico Serafino. How can I explain it? Four and a half percent alcohol, delicious, peaches, orange blossom, pineapple, great acidity, almost frizzante. On a warm day, sitting on a deck, your palate could tolerate it because the alcohol is the weight on your palate. Lighter the alcohol, normally lighter the wine, fresher and generally sweeter. So uh, I'm real excited about the five wines I'm launching. Uh, I mean, if you've never been at Rittenhouse, it's a great outdoor venue on a Saturday. It starts at 12 and runs to 5, and we are going to launch these five wines I just spoke on every hour starting at 12. 